Good morning, everybody. Uh, welcome to this daily currency call where we share our analysis and ideas for a specific currency for each day. So today is Friday. We will be doing the Canadian dollar. But before uh, we start, to help me with this poll, uh, is this your first time here? Yeah, so um, this webinar is going to be very beneficial to both the long-term investors and short-term traders. We will be going through what could move prices, possible trade ideas, and also highlighting potential targets and risk. So a disclaimer here, any information shared during this session is not intended to be a trade recommendation. It is solely the opinion and views of the speaker. So please remember, remember to do your own analysis prior to entering any trades. Let's take a quick look at the poll. Yeah, we do have some uh, people here for the first time. So do help me with the next poll. Just want to find out how did you get here? Just a quick introduction about Jin. Jin is the founder of LCMS Traders and Forex Briefcase. He teaches members of the LCMS Traders Club on how to trade FX. And for Forex Briefcase, he trades an account with more than US $13 million on a daily basis for his managed account clients. He is also an international speaker where he speaks in countries like Hong Kong, UK, US, Australia, Malaysia, Vietnam, Indonesia, and of course here in Singapore, sharing his views about the FX market. Just to take a look at the poll again, I see a lot of you coming in from the Traders Club and also the Telegram channel. So I just want to do a quick sharing about what the Traders Club is all about. So this is our uh, Traders Club platform where we teach, guide, signal, and coach you to be a better and more profitable trader. So this is the place to be regardless of whether you are new, experienced, part-time or full-time trading. So if you have joined us from the Telegram channel, you have been enjoying our signals totally free. But the question you might have is that we have told you when to enter, but you do not know where to exit. Um, so in the Traders Club, we not only give you the signals earlier than the Telegram channel, we also tell you the strategy behind the signals and actually guide you on where to exit. So if you can see here, there's a, in our Traders Club platform, uh, we have the signals tab and the signal analysis tab where uh, analysis and charts and TP, our suggested exit levels are all stated here. And this whole program comes with a mobile app where you will receive these signals uh, in directly into your mobile phone. Yeah, so uh, why do we do this? We, in the long run, uh, you not only earn from the signals, but you also learn how to trade better. So if you require some coaching, we have Mondays and Wednesday sessions. So on Mondays, we do a little bit of like a group coaching, uh, answering your questions, updating you on recent market and economic developments. And on Wednesday, we actually have live trading sessions where we trade together live. So this is the best time to uh, pick Jin's brain on pretty much any trading related questions you might have. Lastly, uh, we have a wide range of analysis for club members here in the platform under the market watch where you have the um, currency watch list, daily currency watch list, uh, breaking news analysis, trade ideas, tons of information here, providing you with the best information, shortcutting your way to trading success. So uh, there are so a lot of features here like the widgets where you have um, FX heat map, uh, charts, data flash, where uh, economic news comes out slightly faster than your usual uh, free resources out there. Um, yeah, FX crosses, tons and tons of widgets here for you guys to use once you join the platform. And yeah, so to join the group, it's very simple. You just have to hop over to this link, tradersclub.lcms.com.sg. It is a paid subscription of $199 a year, which is less than a dollar a day. So if you're facing any uncertainty in your trading, you need to join this club to improve on your strategy and confidence immediately. So yeah, hop on, uh, join now. And yeah, that's, I'm gonna pass the time now to Jin for the currency call. All right, thanks for that. So um, Friday today, end of the week, we're almost towards the end of the month of March. So quarter of the year gone already. Hope it has been good for you. Um, markets have been a little bit more volatile than expected for the first quarter of the year. We've seen um, 
you know, the US dollar gain a bit of strength across the board, especially over the last two weeks. So just sharing with you here what I'm talking about. Um, <clears throat> this is the US CAD on the H4 time frame. The last time I spoke about it, uh, we're expecting the Canadian news to come out to be worse than expected, expecting that move upwards. Didn't happen immediately, but throughout this week, uh, it has been bouncing off this 1.25 support level and it actually did hit that 1.2635 resistance level. At this point right now, it's hit that resistance level. It seems like it's turning back down. I do think there will be some rather good opportunities coming around, especially for the US CAD. And the main thing that we're focusing on today. So what do I, why do I think that we could see some good news or good training activity coming around for the US CAD? is because looking at Forex trading Asia here, um, the economic calendar, what we have today, let me just move a few things out of the way. What we have today is on Friday, um, we've got a lot of pound news coming out, retail sales number. We spoke about all of that on Wednesday already. And then you see that we've got some Euro news, we've got more pound news, pound um, MPC members speaking followed by just some US economic data coming around, not likely to be big price movers at this point. All right, so you can see that it would be relatively straightforward, uh, relatively likely to maintain in a um, technical <clears throat> trading sense rather than having um, any potential news come around pushing prices significantly higher or lower. Why we've seen the US dollar strengthen last night was really because the GDP number, this is on Thursday evening at 8.30, GDP number was 33.4, <clears throat> expected 4.1, came out at 4.3. So it was a very good, better than expected um, GDP quarter on quarter there. So this gave some strength to the US dollar in addition to the initial jobless claims where we saw an improvement in terms of the employment numbers coming from the US. All that led to that push for some further US dollar strength um, and hence that upward move in the US CAD. But as we approach the end of the week, um, what you want to pay attention to is what could happen next week. So next week, we're into April, end of March, into April. Looking at the US CAD in particular, the Canadian in particular, as I slowly scroll through, you realize that there is not, well, not any at this point, um, Canadian news, right? Um, we're now all the way through to what's end of the month. It gets a little bit quiet in terms of economic numbers. And then we got some Canadian numbers here, but that GDP number was 0.1% expected to come out at 0.3%. This is on Wednesday evening. So that could, if it does come out at 0.3%, could push the Canadian dollar a little bit stronger. I don't think it's going to be significant, but a little bit stronger on the Canadian dollar. And then as we go through Thursday again, not a lot of Canadian news, some building permits, but I don't pay attention to the building permits numbers for Canadian side. Manufacturing PMI, still not much change there. And then on Friday, we have it Good Friday, and we have some non-farm payrolls from there. So bear in mind here, you know, this is key. Good Friday um, coming up next week. So markets could be anticipated to um, be on a little bit quieter mode as we see liquidity might drop a little bit as people head into that long weekend um, and we could see volatility probably drop off, probably taper off a little bit, head into a bit more of a trending scenario as we head into Friday, Good Friday. Then we have non-farm payrolls next week, which I don't think is going to be um, high volatility, especially because of Good Friday on the 2nd of Friday, 2nd of April. 
right? So all that put together, the main thing you have to look forward to is Canadian GDP coming out on Wednesday evening was 0.1, expected 0.3. What this means on the chart here on the H4 time frame, this daily, on the H4 time frame is, I think that we might see the US CAD come down a little bit right now, right? It's hit that resistance of 1.2635. Looks like it's retracing back down. Probably going to bounce off at this 1.2557 level. 1.2557 level as it's done over the past couple of days. It came down, hit, tried to go higher, came down, hit, tried to go higher again. So did that two, three times already. I think that we might see it come down towards this point, hit this level, and then possibly bounce back up again as we see you know, the US dollar strength come around later in the evening, which we have seen apply through last week and this week. So what kind of trading opportunities are you looking for? Um, look for it to bounce. First key point is look for it to bounce at a 1.255 support level. 1.255 support level. If you do see that bounce, I would say at about 1.257, you could be looking at 20 pip stop loss for a 60 pip take profit level towards that 1.26 three, five resistance level. Okay. So a quick repeat again, um, at about 1.2570, you could be looking at a 20 pip stop loss for a 60 pip take profit level, a risk reward ratio of one is to three heading upwards towards that resistance of 1.2635. If it does come down all the way, it doesn't bounce at 1.255, it comes down towards 1.25 flat. Even better, there would be an opportunity where you could be looking to buy it up towards that 12635 again um, with a 20 pip stop loss, a good 120 pip take profit, one is to six. But let it come down, let it bounce off that support level before you see any further upside. So very easily, easily straightforward, that's the US CAD. Doing a quick review of what we've talked about this throughout this week. Um, Aussie dollar, we said, was going to bounce up slightly before coming down to test the 7666 level. Did exactly that. Actually did break below 7666. Um, right now, looks like we might see it sit across um, at this 75, at this 7574 level. Quite a bottomish level for the Aussie dollar at this point might see some technical retracement at there. Um, same with the um, New Zealand US dollar, expecting 7167 to hold, didn't, because we know what happened to the US dollar, we saw a lot of strength come around, um, which pushed it a lot lower. Again, probably gonna be a bit more correlated to how the US dollar, is the uh, Aussie US is moving. Might see some retracement there. Um, Euro US performing exactly as we expected. Um, looking for it, was looking for it to break that 1.19 with this rate line there, expecting it to come to 1.17 or 1.18, and it's done that. So, again, um, as we head into the end of the week, maybe some profit taking. I don't think it's going to be the best trading for the Euro dollar at this point. Um, as that dropped, as the euro dollar dropped and the pound dollar dropped before possibly coming back down again, bouncing back up now, um, we saw the euro pound drop very significantly from the 8651 towards the 8580 support level. Um, US yen on H4 didn't retrace as much as we expected but it does look like it's broken or it's trying to break that 109.20 level, right? I think it might retrace a bit now at this point as what well it's done over the past couple of weeks, but we're still looking for that 110 resistance level um, to come back into play. Euro yen retraced back up, hasn't retraced as much as we expected, but I think that we might see a further retrace before that downside come around. Let's look forward to that. 
and pound yen has retraced back above that 150 level uh, we've shared this trading in terms of a scalp in terms of a position trade on the traders club platform so if you're not there on the platform make sure you get on board traders club members and those of you who are not traders club members make sure you get on board because we do this currency call once a day at 11 o'clock but anytime any of the coaches or the trading team spots a trade we put it up into the platform so that you get you know live updates of what's happening in the market at almost every point in the day all right so a lot of information shared here um, i hope you do trade well you know end of the week i hope you have closed off the week with some profits um, with that said i will pass it now to daniel to guide you through through some cryptocurrencies okay thanks gene um let's look at the cryptocurrencies yes last week was some movements coming in uh let's and now this time you know i've been sharing on the trading view but right now sam trade fx has has um, the buy broker i'm using uh and the coaches are using uh has actually have uh their trailer to trade the the, the cryptocurrency so i'm going to use my charts uh coming in okay from now on so you can see here what has happened uh very nicely uh, coming in, this is the uh, Bitcoin on a daily chart. Coming in, you know, last week. Let, let me move this down. All these indicators slowly down here. Okay, okay. So you last, you see, last week, you know, we we did talk about it continuous move up and you know uh, right very close to the sixty thousand range coming back down. I did mention that it probably be moving across before it comes back down to test you know this level this inner line trend line and it did and i did mention that if it did breaks downwards continuously to break downwards we could be looking to hit you know and it breaks above below the like 50 000 range we go to the next trend line coming down here you know but of course uh <laughs> that was too far what it first of all it didn't move across a little and comes back and hits and retest and broke the inner line so we should be looking at it so now you look at a four hour chart. Maybe let me zoom out a little. Yeah, I can see it really very clearly. It did move across since last, last Friday. We talked about here. Move across, not, not say it really move across, but it really moved and came all the way down. Retested the inner, inner trend line, upper trend line, and now has broken through. I'll be looking at it to be coming for follow down. Now, once with this one, let's be more 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 detailed. We will need to test it if it if we again touch and uh, touches at the 50,000 range. The trend line seems to be coming in. However, looking at this right now, don't think it will break through the 50,000 range. This 50,000 is quite a psychological uh, range coming in. I believe it's going to bounce off. Okay, it's going to bounce off uh, next week uh, coming back in. Maybe this is next week, so let, let me shift it in. Okay, I think it's going to go down like this, coming down, really test it here and mobile move across. There is going to be a chance because uh, of uh, moving across around a 50,000 range uh, for quite some time. Reason is because the way I look at it, economy is doing very well. Uh, a lot of investors don't have to park uh, in this kind of uh, cryptocurrencies. And the 10 year, uh, you know, the US uh, interest rates are going up. Uh, more maybe they, what will have, what happen is they're going to park, move their funds, and, sh and profit taking after on a high of uh, almost 60,000 they have made my money already they may move some money into the uh, safer safer uh, options uh, such as like you know putting buying bonds and so with the interest rate hiring up they still can earn money and keep it safe so there is possibly going in this happening here now of course will it will come crashing down i i think right now it will not happen uh, well, so we have to see as I believe it will go, continue to go down to 50,000 range and we've got to check here. Now, if this comes up here, there is could be a chance of a bounce off this range because this really psychological range and the continue the trend, as you can see on the upward trend, it will continue up. But if it does not, now, I this, as I said, is really a psychological uh, level. If it doesn't, uh, it really breaks the 50,000 range, we were looking at going down and I, I believe it will most likely go and retest this long-term trend line uh, here 
at well, around the price, I believe is about forty six to forty five thousand uh, range. Just be careful, okay? So if it really breaks below fifty thousand, then it will most likely drop further down. However, um, I would if you anyone looking to trade, I or, okay, I really don't. Um, don't advise you to really uh, trade on the sell right now because of the uptrend trend. Uh, maybe you look for an opportunity to look for a buy. If, if as I said, 50,000 uh, range, you could look for a, uh, if it bounces up, you could look for a buy. If it goes down, maybe you look at 45,000 range and see if there's any opportunity to look for a buy. Of course, the disclaimer, <laughs> um, you know, do please do your own analysis. Uh, you know, my all these are all my personal views. Do your own analysis before you take any trades. Okay, uh, this is what I'm seeing on the Bitcoin and what's happening in the market right now. Now, if you look at Ethereum, Ethereum is even better uh, looking at it. It has been trend following the Bitcoin. It came down as expected, you know, as uh, last week we mentioned on Friday that it was 18,000 range, will most likely comes back down and test the 16,000 range. And it did that. Now, the volatility has more or less uh, reduced coming in. I looking at it again, same as the Bitcoin. If you mention here, let me look at the four hour chart here. It's be simpler. It is, uh, I don't know, moving across around the 16,000 range, similar to the Bitcoin right now, almost close to the 50,000 uh, range, quite close to 50,000 now, it's 52,000 moving across. Now we will look at it and see, these are, to me, I look at this quite correlated coming in, but looking at this 50,000 range, there is a possibility next week of a move upward direction. Now, uh, direction because just looking at the uh, 16,000 range again is a psychology range. Now, if you look at the daily chart, this level here, it is we are looking for a 16,000 range. However, you know, there is and uh, uh, seems to be a forming a double top uh, coming in. You know, we will see how it goes um, because this is not a higher high. You know, this high is not higher than this high. Uh, we don't know whether the trend is is stopping or not right here. So if it does go break this cycle barrier of 16,000, uh, six, 1,600, excuse me, 1,600 uh, level, if it does bounce off, then we will probably see a short movement uh, up to only about 1,600, 1,820. 1,820 moving up and moving across right now. Don't think there will be a lot of movements uh, going all the way up to 2,000 range here. But if it did break below the 16,000 range, clearly, uh, let's say, it's, uh, and it really clears that uh, about 1,500 and 1,540. Okay, thousand going. If it breaks this level, it close below this level, then there's really going to be a really nice uh, move. I think is my thing is going to go have a four uh, moving down to the about the fourteen thousand one thousand four hundred range and one thousand four hundred range. It reached one thousand four hundred range, then you do know that the dub, uh, double top pattern here. Okay, looking at this one here like this has fully formed. And the 1,400 is the neckline here. We could possibly see even a further downwards towards a uh, 1,000 uh, range. However, this is a long-term move. Uh, it most likely will not happen uh, even next week. But it's quite an interesting uh, pattern to to be formed. We can wait for it to happen for the Ethereum. Okay, if it does. But right now, we clearly stage one. We need to look at what's going to happen at the 1,600 range before we even consider uh, any other movements. Okay. Okay. Right now, looking at that, I'm okay. That that's what I have for here. Any questions from anyone? If not, let me pass it back to Chidwe. Okay. Thank you, Danny. Yep. So I've just launched a poll to help me with the. Let us know uh, what you think of the webinar. In the chat, I also posted up some links. Um, the links to our YouTube channel, subscribe to it for daily recordings, our free forex signals, uh, our Telegram group. And also, uh, if you want faster signals, you want to learn the strategy behind the signals, uh, get suggested exit levels, and attend our webinars, get trade ideas, daily analysis, and more, uh, make sure you join the Traders Club via this link. So that's the end of the session. We will see you guys on Monday for the Aussie and Kiwi uh, analysis. Thank you and goodbye.